everybody and welcome to day 28. We are here in eastern Washington state. It really doesn't look like Washington that I know. I'm so familiar with western Washington. This is so different. But this is this open prairie land fields of crops and things like that is still Washington. We're going to explore the eastern side of Washington as well as northern Idaho today. So let's get out there. This is Kamiak Butte State Park or County Park. It shows up both ways on the GPS. Look at that. That's just so cool. It's such a change of scenery for me. All right, so this is what you'll find in like eastern Washington. You'll find little towns like this. I mean, there are some bigger ones, but you won't find the big cities like Seattle or in other states like, you know, Minneapolis, New York, um, all those big places. You just find a bunch of little towns like this with barely any people. There's a couple roads up here with like a couple shops, old school looking like saloon kind of things, which is pretty cool. One of my favorite things though is the fact that you see these giant tractors everywhere. They are everywhere. Let's see, look, there's literally nobody here. It's also pretty early, but still. This is the town. This is all of it. I mean, of course, there's neighborhoods. Don't get me wrong. But... So that was downtown, and then here's several blocks of neighborhood. But it's just, it's a cool experience, but I don't know if I'd be able to live here. It's too secluded. All right, so I skipped the drive through uh, Spokane and Spokane Valley. I went through it. It's a pretty cool place. It reminds me a lot of like Minneapolis for some reason. Uh, but now we're here in Quarter Lane, uh, thanks to somebody who recommended it. And let me show you this beautiful view. This is the shoreline down at Northern, the University of Northern Idaho. Like, that's crazy. I wish it was uh, there was there's a wildfire nearby, so that's why it's like super. See, that's not fog or smog. That's all just smoke from the wildfire. Which I guess I wonder if that makes it smog. No, it doesn't make it smog. Smog's like pollution. Um, but yeah, so it's right here on the water. I don't know. This is just like when you're in California. I went to a couple universities that are like right on the water. Like I think there's one in Santa Cruz that's like right on the right on the water. I'm like, how would you get any work done? Like it's just so beautiful down here. You wouldn't ever be doing work. Look how beautiful it is down here at the pier. That is ridiculous. You can do um, a biplane. Is that what it's called? Is there a biplane when they have the water? But yeah, you can go up in one of those planes, do a full tour of the lake. That's really cool. That little thing you can go stand up there on. Open to the public, I believe. Yep. But yeah, there's a wildfire, man. It's pretty foggy and definitely not going up in a plane. It's only 70 bucks. It's not too bad. And the town is pretty cool too. It's kind of like a mix of like old school stuff and like old buildings. place I would come for vacation. That is Alright, so now we're at Sandpoint. Look at this crazy contraption they have out here. This fake Statue of Liberty. Ooh, cold. Alrighty, welcome to Montana! Been a long time waiting man I was supposed to do this last year and I finally get around to it this year so I found this random like rest stop that has like a hike it's supposedly to like a waterfall and or like to like the lake and it goes over this bridge there's a train which first of all I love trains second of all this looks like a completely and totally like concrete pathway doesn't it but it, like when you go up and down on it it actually shakes I'm so surprised it almost feels like you're walking on like clouds. It's really weird. Oh, I just missed it. There's a train that just went by. I missed it. Oh no. I was down at the bottom of the stairs. Then I came. I would have waved like I do in France. In France, we go to the railroad and we wave and we get them to honk. Wonder if they would do it here. No, I missed it. Oh well. And the coolest thing about all this is that I didn't plan it at all. I just saw a sign. It said suspension bridge and falls. And I was like, oh, let's go check it out. And so I found this. This is probably like, this is one of the things I wanted to do. It's like a real suspension bridge. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Look at that. It literally says the limit of five people on it at a time. Look at that. 
It's awesome. Oh man, look at this. I just keep finding these little hidden gems. You can go down, there's like a random little path that's kind of hidden. It takes you right down to the falls. Yo, check this out. I don't know what's going on, but like either there's really bad wildfires somewhere and you can't see anything. You can see like the mountains right there, but they're like completely covered in like fog, smoke, something that you, so you can't see them that well. I'm gonna have to find out what's going on. So I haven't figured out the smoke thing, but welcome to Whitefish. There's a ski resort up there, which we're gonna probably go try to check out, but the view might not be that great. Glacier is all the way that way, but look at this beautiful lake. Ooh, Montana! All right, just figured it out. There is like Missoula, which is southeast of us. There's like a whole ring of wildfires around the city, and all the wind is blowing this way towards us, uh, northwest. So that's why we're getting all the smoke and stuff. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't impact Glacier for tomorrow, and hopefully they don't get any more down here, because then it would just ruin the view. Um, Missoula, supposedly, it's so bad that like you can't see like in the city, like you can't see that far in front of you. It's like that's pretty ridiculous. So it turns out it's like super beautiful up here. Um, the thing is, it's okay. So there's not snow obviously right now, but there's still like all kinds of things you can do. There's a bunch of hiking trails. There's a bunch of um, uh, mountain biking that you can do. You can do zip lines. You can take the ski lift to the top and then go down. Or you can walk up and then take the ski lift back down. Um, all kinds of different things to do here. So even though it's not winter, there's still a lot to do. And you can get amazing views, just not right now because of the smoke. All right, so it looks like that's gonna be it for today. Nothing too super exciting or interesting happened. I got to visit a lot of little cities, towns, kind of see where it's cool to go, that kind of thing. Um, so I'll have all those places on my map. Which, by the way, guys, I have a single map that has all the places I've ever been that I can give you recommendations for. It's on my website. If you just go there, check it out. Um, or you just message me and I'll send you the link. You can check it out. No matter where you're going, I'm sure I've been somewhere near you by the end of this trip, so feel free to always ask. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go to Glacier. I'm super excited for that. I heard I met a bunch of people up at the ski lodge who were telling me all about it, so I have all kinds of things I'm gonna do, so I'm really ready, hoping for the best with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much today. Not every day is glamorous and awesome, just like that goes along with my life lesson of like, you gotta have the bad in order to have the good because you have to compare to something else. So with that being said guys, hopefully you still like this video, hopefully you like all my other videos and you wanna keep getting notifications uh, when I upload a new video, which is pretty much every day. So please hit the subscribe button, share with somebody you know, and then I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, high five. So actually bonus clip, I wanted to go check out those trains. <laughs> Turns out there's a giant deer right next to me. What? Literally right there. He's hungry.